So please welcome Daniel Robbins. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, yes, I am a uh, local school teacher and uh, it's unfortunate that everywhere I do teach this coal seam gas um, cancer seems to follow me. Uh, you've all probably heard of the Pilliga State Forest, which is a state conservation area about six hours west of here. If you would have a barbecue in that area, you would be fined $200, but Santos wanted to put 1,100 coal seam gas wells in there. During the fire period, they were given an exemption from, uh, from stopping their flares, so the flares continued during the, the total fire ban. Um, this is something that concerned me most when I went to Queensland two years ago after getting a phone call in Walgett and saying uh, you need to come up and see what's happening in Queensland. Uh, there was a farmer there and she sent me straight to a place called Tara and in Tara I stayed with a family, uh, Debbie Orr and her family, lovely bunch of people. Uh, the husband was a fireman in the area. After they started protesting about what happened in their area, he was told that he would be sacked unless he stopped uh, protesting. Uh, there was other people in the area who um, are going through huge health effects. And so I rang Debbie last week and, and I asked her to write this letter to you. So it's a letter, an open letter to the people of South West Sydney to uh, tell us exactly what is happening in her area. I'll begin. My name is Debbie Orr and I live in the Tara Estate gas field area in Queensland. Since CSG invaded our area, all of my six children have become sick. Headaches, nosebleeds, burning itchy eyes are a regular, sometimes daily occurrence in our house. The nearest gas well to our home is about one kilometre away. Gas companies like to say they don't take up much space, but they don't like to mention all the pipes, the infrastructure, that goes ahead with this gas well. When they drill a well, the noise is unbearable. You can hear a drill rig at least three kilometers away. Inside your home, above all your kids being extremely loud and the TV noise, it's still bad. My neighbor's walls have cracked. My dam cracked and has now drained. I am about 15 kilometers from the Kenya compressor station. At times we hear it an unbearable droning noise that goes on and on and on when you're trying to sleep. It gets into your head and it drives you crazy. When the wind is blowing from the direction of the Kenya compressor station, the symptoms for my family are much worse. I know of 26 other families who are experiencing the same thing. Their children coming in with nosebleeds, with headaches that soon dissipate when the children are taken out of the area. There is nothing good about CSG, except the friends you make when you're opposing this industry. There is nothing safe about CSG. The government is so convinced it is safe in Queensland and also here in New South Wales, that they will not even put it into writing, nor will any CSG company put a two kilometre exclusion zone will not protect you from CSG, sorry. You will need to protect you from CSG. Lock your gates, lock your streets, lock your communities, say no to CSG, because once the damage is done, it cannot be undone. Thank you. Before I go, uh, as a teacher in the area, when I found out that they were going to put wells in Ingleburn, I uh, asked AGL what was going to happen. I was at the Camden show yesterday and the general manager for Upstream Gas from AGL approached me and said, Daniel, what's your problem? What do you want from us? And I said, I want to make sure that what is happening to the children in Tara doesn't happen to some of my students and their families here in Ingleburn, around Kearns, Varaville, places like that. He then admitted that his company, AGL, actually has a 22% share in what QGC is doing in Queensland. AGL is the same company as what's happening there. So if somebody tells you, look, what's happening in America, what's happening in Queensland is bad, but AGL, they're okay. They are not okay. They're doing the same thing. They've breached their licensing agreements, and it's about time that they started really monitoring, A, the methane emissions, and B, any other toxic gases that may be coming out of these areas. Specifically, I told 
Mike Marazzi yesterday, I want him to test for radon, which is a radioactive gas that, is similar, that has been found very recently coming from the Tara gas field. So if you see those ads saying that they're doing the methane testing, I urge you to write to AGL and your local representatives and say, what about radon gas? What about some of these other toxic gases that are coming out? Because I don't want this stuff anywhere near my students' homes or anywhere near your family homes. Thank you.